The major differentiating factor between the Chrome OS and Chrome OS Flex is that Chrome OS has the support for Google Play Store and Android applications. The rest of the elements like the user interface, the Chrome browser, the settings, Google Assistant and uh, all the looks and feel is exactly the same for both of them. So in this video let us see how we can install Chrome OS on our Windows laptop. So let's get started. So we need to visit this website which I will link in the description and uh, read out the requirements. So we need the 64-bit system and the secure boot should be disabled and the Hyper-V or virtualization. If, if it's there you can enable it. So you can use the BIOS key shown on the screen to enter your BIOS menu. So coming to the download we need to download the Chrome OS recovery image. So for different chipset is a different download. So for me it is the AMD Ryzen. So I'm going to download the Zork image. Here currently the links are not available. So just follow the alternative link. And here we need to type in the search area our board name. So for me it is Zork. So I'm going to type Zork. And I will just download the latest version from the top device list. So the latest is for now 103. So clicking on it will start the download. So similarly just type in your name and download it. So now we need the branch file, the actual which will help us to boot the Chrome OS. And uh, thanks to this developer Sebang which has made this possible. So just download the latest from the assets list. So now we have the two main component for this installation. So now we need to install the WSL which will help us to run all these commands. So just copy the link like the command and right click on the windows start menu and open the command prompt as admin. Now right click to paste the copied command and then press enter. And this will start installing all the components necessary like the virtual machine the like the linux subsystem and everything so this is basically a linux terminal so it will download the ubuntu at the end but it will not install it we need to actually reboot our computer to install the ubuntu so before restarting i can see that our files has been downloaded so we will go to the downloads folder and here we need to create a new folder and uh, i will name it as chrome os without any spaces or special characters this will make the job easier and then just move the files into that folder and now we can restart our device and after restarting the ubuntu terminal will be automatically open up and install the ubuntu and it will ask you to give it a username and a password And after a while now we will be ready to proceed and uh, type in further commands so we will go back to our article so now we need to run this command it will update and also install some necessary tools so just copy the command and uh, use the right click to copy and and just run the command it's going to take some time and uh, it will update and also install some tools that we will use later so this can take a long time depending on your internet and if you get any errors or something went wrong you can run this command first the add universal repository and rerun that command so it might work now we need to mount the directory where we have created the folder the chrome os folder so we need to find our username so go to your downloads folder and the chrome os folder and if you click on the blank area on the address bar you can see it shows the like exact address and you can see your username as well so we need the username 
we will copy the commands and paste it in the terminal and using the arrow keys we will move and delete the username and replace it with our own and then just press enter and your directly will be mounted so now we can uh, like run commands in this particular folder so now we are going to use the tar the tool that we downloaded to unzip the branch file name first so copy this command and paste it into the terminal now when you now we will replace the branch file name with the actual branch file that we downloaded so go to the folder and before proceeding click on the view and you need to enable the so extension so you can see the full file name so click once and copy the name and we will replace the branch file name with the actual file name you get the idea now just uh, press enter and we will start like unzipping the file during the process we see some errors but you can safely ignore them as it will not impact and we can see it successfully unzipping the file now similarly we will also unzip the chrome os recovery image so copy the file name like the similar just copy this command and replace the placeholder with the actual file name paste the command and press enter and this will start unzipping the recovery image we see some error message but you can ignore them and you will see a new .bin file that we have extracted from the recovery image and for if you are coming from an MBR or legacy device you need to download the MBR patch and then just run this command you need to do it after you have like extracted both the branch and chrome file so it will override some files and now we can install the branch file so copy this command and paste it into the ubuntu terminal and here we need to replace the chrome os file name dot bin with the the new bin file that we got after extracting the recovery image so copy its name and then uh, using the arrow keys just delete the dot bin the chrome os dot bin just right click and press enter now the process has started of uh, installing the branch file and this might take a lot of time like an uh, half an hour so after it's done we have the option to type dual boot but we're going to just install it in single boot we will just type not type we will just hit enter and now the chrome os dot img image has been created in the same folder where we have the rest of the files so we will now need a program called rufus that we use to make bootable usb so i already have downloaded it so you can download it from this link then open the program and we need a pen drive of at least 16 gb and we need to select the image so inside our chrome os folder there will be a new .img file so just select that chrome os .img now leave everything as it is and just start the process once the process is completed we will use the boot key for our device you can see on the screen while restarting to access the boot menu options and here we will select our usb drive and finally the first option chrome os the first boot may take half an hour to hour to complete and even if after that it does not boot you can refer to the website for troubleshooting once you see the setup screen 
the installation is still not completed but uh, we need to go through the setup so connect to the Wi-Fi and add your Google account So we are in the Chrome OS but it is still running from the USB drive. So we will open the article in the Chrome browser and we need to press Ctrl plus Alt plus T. So it will open the cross cell on the next on the new tab and here we need to type shell S H E L L and now we can run this command copy and paste it in the cross cell and here we need to find out our main storage so for me it is the one TB hard drive so the SDA the first one is showing 931 GB so that is my primary storage so you need to find similarly your storage and the SDA it could be SDA1 SDA2 so for me it is SDA so you need to remember that and uh, in the article if you go back to it we need to copy this command and here we will just replace the last disk with the the actual our storage number that is SD or SDA1 SDA2 so I will just replace disk with SDA and just press enter now it is now installing the chrome os on the entire drive the entire 1tb hard drive and it's going to replace your windows and anything and this will take a lot of time and once the installation is finished you can remove the pen drive and then restart and set up the device again so that was how you can install Chrome OS on your Windows laptop or computer and replace your current operating system and enjoy the Chrome OS with Google Play Store support. I have many dual boot tutorial but this was to install it as a primary OS. So I hope you like this video and I will see you in the next one.